there. My name is Kelly Dell with OffTheBeadedPathBeadStore.com. Thanks so much for joining me today. A few weeks ago, I taught you how to make the Autumn Wrap Bracelet here on my channel. It was a super quick, super easy bracelet that either used up mixes that you may have or beads extra in your stash. And in that project, I was thinking about some slider beads that you could put onto this bracelet to really customize it even more. So that's what today's video is all about, is slider beads for the Autumn Wrap Bracelet. So if you did not see that video or you did not get that pattern, if you look below me in the description box here, I will have a direct link to the video and a direct link to that pattern so that you can do that project if you'd like. It just uses a random mix of size 11 seed beads. So today, what you're gonna need for your slider beads is you are going to need a random mix of size 11 Delica beads, all right? Not the round beads like the bracelet, but Delica beads. These Delica beads are gonna give you a really nice pattern as you work your project. You're also gonna need your favorite beading thread, your favorite beading needle, whether it be a 10, 11, or 12, and you are gonna need a little bit of a 0.5 millimeter stretch magic or any sort of stretch cord, and you will find out why here in just a minute. Now, I'm gonna be showing you how to make um, what I call stopper beads um, to stop our slider beads from sliding all over the place. You don't have to have those, but they're really handy. And I'm gonna be showing you another one of these really simple beaded beads. Now, the pattern itself, I believe I have six different beaded beads um, on the pattern itself. And this Friday, is our free shipping Friday for the month of April. So anyone who places a $15 or more order and has that order shipped within the United States is gonna get a printed copy of this slider bead pattern in their pack. So just know that. So let's go ahead, let's get our materials together and let's get started. In today's project, I'm gonna be using my size six gray in the dragon thread, but again, you can use whatever you'd like. I'm also going to be using the 0.5 millimeter stretch cord. Now, I'm going to be using the Potomac Beads brand today, but you can use Stretch Magic. You can use whatever you have. I have some Delica colors here. I have my cord cutter, my Wildfire cord cutter, or whatever you want. I've got a really nice sharp pair of scissors here. Um, and just FYI, I'm going to put a link below. Um, these CUDA scissors are amazing. I found these on Amazon. They were on sale. Love them. I'm going to put a link in the bottom for those. Um, just FYI. <laughs> and then you will see here, I have my bracelet that I did a few weeks ago in the video. And you'll see, I already have some slider beads on the bracelet itself. I also have a couple of little samples here of other little slider bead patterns. This one's got little tiny flowers. Um, this one here is just some easy striped sliders. And then I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cute slider today as well. So I've got my needle threaded with two yards of thread. And for this first little slider bead, all I'm gonna be using are two colors of Delicas. So the color I'm gonna be using today is I have 253 and um, 202 here are the colors that I'm gonna to use today. To start, I'm gonna pick one color to be the outside color and one color to be the inside color. So I believe like on this one here, I've got the cream as the outside and this pinky color as the inside. So I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to pick up one white, two pink, and one white. Bring these down and I'm going to leave myself just about a four inch tail thread there. Now working back in the opposite direction, I'm going to pick up a white skip a white and go through a pink. I'm gonna hold that bead in place. Now, if they don't make and lay exactly like they should, you just make them do it. Pick up one pink, skip a pink, and go through the white. This is the great thing about this little bead is it goes very quickly because we're only gonna add two beads on each row. 
So now we're working back in the other direction. So we pick up a white and go through the pink. Pick up a pink. Go through the white. And work the opposite direction. It's white and pink. Each row, it's white and pink, white and pink. Just like this. And we want to continue to go until, I'm gonna count this black one really quick here. So we will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So we will have 11 beads going up each side of our strip. I now have 11 beads down each side of my piece. And when I grab my bracelet, I'm ready to attach it. Now, here's the thing. If you make a bracelet that is made out of a bigger bead, then all you have to do is just keep going until when you lay your piece down on there, your ends should meet just like this. All right, so we're gonna leave just a smidge of room there between the ends and you want it to meet just like this. So if you make it bigger or wider, just know that, that's all you gotta do. So I'm gonna take my needle, it's coming out of the white bead here on the right. So I'm gonna go through the white bead here on the left, then through the pink bead on the right, through the pink on the left, and then through the white bead on the right here. Now, if I look down, you'll notice I don't have a thread here connecting these two beads. So I need to take my needle and I need to go down through the bead here so that now all the beads are connected. And then I will just take the needles and stitch through and get rid of both of these threads, locking them into place. Now that you have your beaded bead complete onto your bracelet, now we're gonna make the little pieces that are going to uh, stop our bead from moving if you want it to stop. This is where the 0.5 millimeter in your stretch cord is gonna come into play. So I have about six inches and <laughs> I'm gonna show you how I do this because your cord is stiff enough to thread the beads on by themselves, but there is a trick to it. So I hold my cord parallel to the board so I'm not jabbing it down. And I basically touch the side of the bead and let it just kind of fall onto the thread, just like this. Or if it's on the side, then I just, be patient, okay? Just be patient with it. As you thread your beads on there, we need 11 beads. So, so far I have two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now, I made that look easy, but that is not easy, so just, just beware. So now, what I want to do, and I know six inches is a lot, but the thing about it is, you want that. You're going to need that for tying your piece onto it. I could do this um, all day with needle and thread, but it's not going to hold my bead in place because it's going to slide just like this. So this is why the stretch cord is really important. Now, this is what you might cuss at me for because now we are going to tie this into a circle. But when you tie this, you want to be careful that you don't get any of your beads caught up into the knot itself that we are tying. All right. So you kind of want to just, you know, make sure that it's good to go there and then put your fingers in there to hold it tight as you get ready to do a second knot just to make sure. Now to pull this tight, okay? We want this to be pulled tight. If it's gonna break, we want this to break now and not while we're wearing it, okay? So I've just pulled it really, really tight. 
And you can see here, now when our bead goes to it, it doesn't move. And that's what I want. I want it to be a little slider, but I want it to be able to move when I need it to move. Now also, I would go ahead and tie it onto your piece just like this. If you tie it by itself and then you try to slide it onto the end of your piece, what may happen is you may stretch out the loop, getting it over whatever kind of clasp or whatever kind of loop you have here on the end. And if you do that, then there's no reason for doing it. You, you know, are going to just have to start over. So I'm going to go ahead. I've gone ahead and threaded some beads on. So I'm going to go ahead here and tie my second one. And again, okay, look right there. You see, I had a bead pop out right there. So easiest thing to do is just put that bead back in place if you can get it back in place. If not, just loosen it all up. There we go. Just like that. Okay. And again, I'm going to put my finger in there to keep it tight as I make the next knot so I don't have to worry about that knot slipping. And again, see, if it breaks, you want it to break while you're doing it, not while you're wearing it. So that tells me I had a sharp bead somewhere, and then I'm just going to do that again. But before I take the time to do that again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I do here. So I'm going to cut and leave, I don't know, it's not much. It's just a, a smidge, a smidge, whatever a smidge is. Then I'm going to take my cord cutter here. Now, I'm not going to melt this all the way down. I just want it to make a little ball on the end there, just like that. And again, I'm going to just melt it down just a little bit. Okay, I don't want to melt the cord that I've just tied together. Okay, so then that way it kind of melts those ends in. Um, and then what I do is I just turn this so that that little thing is down at the bottom. And I don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to make my other side really quickly. So as you get all of your slider beads made for your piece, you may actually find that your finished bracelet is going to be a little bit more snug on your wrist. And it's because each slider bead that you add, it's going to take up a little bit of length on your piece. Meaning that when you put it on your wrist, it's going to raise it up a little bit and that's going to take up some length. So... I'm going to show you a little bonus thing of something that you can do to add a little bit of length to your bracelet without having to completely redo the bracelet. And it's a great way to use up some of those extra beads in your stash. To make a little extender piece for our bracelet, what I've done is I've taken some 0.5 stretch magic and I threaded a wire protector onto the end. I've got two delegates two eights, and then I used some Storm Duos that I had left in my stash. So it can be any two hole bead that you want that you have in your stash that'll go with your bracelet. So when I get down here to the end on this one side, I've put on my eight and my 11. I'm gonna go ahead and thread my wire protector onto the end of this one piece. slide it down. Then I'm going to thread on my 11 and my 8 onto the same thread. Let those drop down. And now I'm going to take both of these pieces of cord and I'm going to be really careful not to get the thread caught. And I'm going to tie these two threads together. Now you make this as long or as short. I mean, my goodness, you might just need two beads, two beads length or three beads length. I have put five beads on here, but you're gonna go ahead and just tie this together. And again, pull it tightly, because if it's gonna break, like I said, you want it to break here and not while you're wearing it. I'm gonna do that same thing that I showed you a minute ago. 
going to take, and I'm just going to very easily, okay, guys, easily, not even touching it. I'm just kind of getting it close, just close enough to melt it here. And then when you do that, now I can take and I can put my lobster claw to one side here. And then for my other side, I'm just going to take an oval jump ring. And I'm going to make sure that my bracelet is not twisted. And then I can connect this here. So that now I have a little extender that I have made for my bracelet. I also could just add some chain if I wanted to. But I really didn't want to add chain. I wanted something a little different. So that's why I'm just putting... Get that close. There we go. That's why I just made this fun little extender to attach to the bracelet. So now when I want to put it on and off, I can just undo it from this end and attach that onto the end. So I've got a little bit of play there if I need it, but I've extended the bracelet to the length that I need. So guys, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make these super easy slider beads, as well as that little extender that is going to allow you to use up some of your stash without having to use any chain. The pattern itself can be found on my website as an instant download at offthebeadedpathbeadstore.com or look again under the description box of the video and I'll have a direct link to that pattern. Or if you place an order this Friday, uh, the first Friday of April, 2023, it's our free shipping Friday. You're going to get this pattern in your box. If you spend more than $15 and have your package shipped within the U.S., you are going to get that pattern completely for free in your box. And again, it has six fun little slider bead patterns on it. And I think you're really going to love it. Now, next week, oh my goodness, I hope you will be in the mood for a new project because oh I have a new project that you guys are going to flip when you see how cool this bracelet for next week looks so make sure and come back and see that bracelet next week I hope you guys have a wonderful week we'll see you again next time bye bye mm -hmm.